lady who was bringing up three very lovely girls. All of them had hair of gold, like their mother, the youngest one in curls. It's the story of a man named Brady who was busy with three boys of his own. They were four men living all together, yet they were all. We have a lot of very special guests with us here today. We have neighbors and we have friends, we have family. Uh, we also have, we've actually had people from all over the world stopping on this street every day taking pictures during this whole process. It's been absolutely amazing. And by the way, to all the Brady's, we're gonna get to showing you guys the rest of the rooms inside that you haven't seen yet. But first I would like to introduce the director of the mayor's office of film and television production. Please welcome Mr. Kevin James. Thank you, Drew, and thank you to all of you. In honor of this special event, and on behalf of Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti, it is my pleasure to read this official proclamation. Whereas, the Brady Bunch has been a cherished part of American history for 50 years. And whereas the Brady Bunch house has been a Los Angeles landmark during that time span. And whereas the Brady Bunch house has now been carefully recreated by all six of the Brady kids, along with eight talented HGTV hosts. And whereas that recreation was done with Sherwood, Bob, Florence, and Ann B, never far from their hearts. Now, therefore, I, Eric Garcetti, mayor of the city of Los Angeles, on behalf of its residents, do hereby recognize Barry, Maureen, Christopher, Eve, Michael, and Susan on this day, May 23rd, 2019, in the city of Los Angeles, this is Brady Bunch Day. And, and in recognition of this very special event, today this street has been renamed in honor of the street the Brady Bunch lived on. Today this street is known as Clinton Way. Congratulations, everyone. Oh my God. Thank you so much, Kevin. I feel like it is time, 
that we officially christen this amazing piece of American cultural history. I think it's time we let the Bradys cut the ribbon. This is unbelievable. I know. I tell you, I first walked in, I freaked out. I, I immediately felt like I was back on stage five at Paramount, and I was really on our set. It's perfect. This is what the entryway and living room looked like just six months ago. Here's during construction, and this is the big reveal after. Tell us a secret about what you remember shooting here in this living room set. One thing or one thing that maybe we didn't see on TV. I remember magic tricks up here. And now, abracadabra. So this is from the original set. This one is original. Like, you know, some of it has been recreated, like this sofa, because they couldn't find that fabric. I just remember running up and down the stairs. Mm -hmm. It didn't go anywhere. That are that are real now, and the bedrooms. And they go are, somewhere. The bedrooms are on the second floor. They, the bedrooms, our bedrooms on the set, were right outside that door. One of the things that I will never forget is uh, those kisses from Davy Jones. Me neither. <laughs> Me neither. Okay, I'll I was never so forget. Jealous. I was so jealous. Right, we had a thing going on at the time, but I mean, Desi and Davy and Marion Ross came through that door as a yeah. doctor and um, Joe Namath, Joe right? Namath. I mean, right. we had amazing people on our show. We want to see you back together on TV again. Could there be like a special or could there, there be, be beyond the HGTV re reveal? I was going to say, well, this is it for now. This is gonna, this is for, for now. For now. And we could film it here and live here. Yeah, well, I, you know. And drive that we were... old car from 1972. We could do the talk show <laughs> here and freak out our guests and they'd be unable to speak. Wouldn't that be good? Yeah, because well, when you first <laughs> walk in, you freak out. To make this iconic house complete, it took no fewer than six TV siblings and twin HGTV stars. This is the most complex, the largest residential renovation we have ever done. Yeah. And there was one very important detail that was added for the first time. On The Brady Show, they never showed a toilet because it was taboo to show a toilet on the show. So for the first time ever, the Bradys have toilets. And you wouldn't believe what went into creating these entryway stones. We actually sketched it from what we saw on TV, and then we got a projector and projected that onto the wall. We made them exactly the same size and color so that it was the same. The hardest detail to duplicate? The staircase. We will show you that unbelievable reveal a little later. It was a challenge because they had to make this one-story house into two. Okay, so this was a feat of engineering. We cannot change that iconic roof line. What are we going to do? We dug down. So you went lower. Yes. So uh, when you walk in the door, you actually step down into the family room, and that was able to give us that staircase. We couldn't, we had to have the staircase. E.T. was there for the very start of this renovation journey, yes, even before HDTV got involved. We got an exclusive tour when the house was first put on the market last July. The home was listed at $1.8 million. HGTV swooped it up for a cool $3.5 million. Is it true that this house is the second most photographed house After next the to the White, White house? house? Really? 
307 days later, the restoration is complete. Many of the original details had to be crowdsourced from fans. Somebody had the actual toaster from the kitchen. So uh, the master bedroom, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. You remember Come there was on. the bed. On the headboard, there was a bust of a woman, and it was like a little white figurine. Someone had that same figurine in their house, so when you see the master bedroom, you'll see that white figurine. Now we have to go to one other spot that when you walk in here, it literally takes your breath away. The stairs! Do you guys actually remember that day? And tell me what you remember about it being on that staircase. I'm going to get it for sure. Well, we've been on this staircase many times. There are like five iterations. We would take a picture each year. So it was always the icon iconic thing we did. Well, the new staircase looks just like that groovy 70s one that was the focal point of the Brady's living room. Let's go again! One of the biggest problems we had with, with nine people in the cast was how do you stage them so that you can see everybody's faces and the staircase answered the question. But in the real live house, there was no long staircase. It actually was a smaller split level version right next to the front door. Let's see. Maureen, Marsha Brady herself, helped demolish it. Really? When you built the staircase, you built it from scratch, but you oh, made yeah. it look 50 years old. Exactly. And, I mean, you can't buy a staircase like that. The no. other thing that's interesting is that staircase technically wasn't to code for today's standards. Oh. We had to modify it so that it passed inspection. We had to add some plexiglass panels. Yeah. Child safety. Until then. It's a secret. Can you go anywhere now without people saying, hey, Greg, hey, Marshall, hey, Jan, hey, Peter? I feel like we have friends everywhere we go. Yeah, you that's do. true. Yeah. People will pick up the conversation mid-sentence like, so, how's it going? Yeah, you know? like they've known you forever. Forever. Oh, no! These classic moments live on in reruns, and when they'd shoot interior scenes on a soundstage, well, the staircase led to nowhere. We would go up the stairs, and we would all just hide in the hallway up there, and flirt and whatever it was like our time alone which was awesome and Lurk. no one could see us yeah <laughs> but um now it leads somewhere and now into that famous backyard before there was never glass no, in these stores like no that. so no one would hurt you and in the reflection now they're real there are a lot of memories in this backyard it's where the swing set was and where the boys tossed that infamous football hey you guys She's got the football! Okay. <laughs> oh. Whoa, Your nose is beautiful now, by the way. Thank you so much. Tiger! Chat on Tiger! Is that Tiger's dog house over there? Tiger's dog house. That's the teeter totter. We're gonna set a new teeter totter record. Oh? Mom said we could. Susan, Cindy, and Mike, Bobby, were responsible for this renovation, including building Tiger's doghouse. And remember the fake grass that used to get mowed? Well, that's there too. How does it feel being out here and looking at how they recreated things out in the backyard? Well, it makes me want to go in Tiger's doghouse or get on the teeter-totter or uh, do a, a potato sack race. Go! <laughs> And this is a part that's better because we were never outside when we were outside. This is really outside. We had like 40 different shadows around us. And now it's actually under the sky, you know, and, and we had to compromise the backyard quite a bit because the footprint of this, this is all new. Hi, I'm Maureen McCormick. And Barry Williams. And we are standing in front of the Brady, Brady Bunch house. house. I think coming into the living room with the staircase, that was powerful to see that, that staircase there that we crossed back and forth in front of, or climbed up the stairs, or came down the stairs. Every episode featured that, and the horse that was sitting on the table uh, is there too. What brought me back most is just, um, you know, seeing Florence and Bob and feeling Annie, just our crew that was so amazing, you know, just I guess the love for all the people that, that were a part of the show. I've never been to this house before. I didn't know that it was right here in the San Fernando Valley, which is near where I grew up. 
we were always in Hollywood on the stage shooting the Brady Bunch. So I had no reason to come here because this was just the picture that they used to establish that we were going to be seeing the Bradys in their house. This is where we take fiction and turn it into reality. This is Drew and Jonathan Brady. Yeah, we're the newest kids. And we looked at a lot of pictures and videos. We didn't have original plans from the set to know how things were laid out. So we had to think of perspective, what it looked like, how it would be. The cast, they were all able to give us little tidbits to help us piece that puzzle together to make sure we got it authentic. It was nice to see the Brady kids in there. Of course, we don't have Florence um, or Bob. We didn't have Mom and Dad. We didn't have Alice as a part of the show because they passed on. It's, it's nice to know when we did the reveal and we showed the Brady kids, they said the first thing they thought of is what they would think of it. And, and, yeah. and they pictured them sitting in the chairs or pictured Alice coming in from the kitchen. And that's pretty special to know that's the first thing that comes to mind. You could see some emotions coming up in the, in the, the Brady kids just thinking about this is taking them back 50 years. I didn't expect the level of detail they went to, which was extreme. It's and I didn't expect them to add a second story without compromising the exterior. Yeah, we're on record as basically telling them that what they were trying to accomplish was impossible. They proved to us we were wrong. <laughs> they do the impossible. What do you get when you take the six original Brady kids, eight hosts from different HGTV shows, and one massive, amazing undertaking? I present to you a very Brady renovation. Here's the story of a lovely lady. The Brady Bunch is back. Take it all. <laughs> It's been 50 years since Greg, Marsha, Peter, Jan, Bobby, and Cindy made their way into our hearts and homes. The Brady Bunch, the Brady Bunch. All six reuniting for the first time in decades. Hi, honey. I'm home. Rolling up their sleeves to help renovate their TV home. HGTV bought the house for $3.5 million in 2018, then enlisted eight of its hosts, including me, for a transformation One, two, three. that is nothing short of priceless. I'm very handy, okay? Working alongside HGTV's Jasmine Roth and Barry Williams, we were in charge of Greg's Groovy Attic. If anyone finds you up here, I'm in big, big trouble. And Eve Plum. Hi, Alice. Who played Jan Brady, helped me recreate Alice's bedroom. Why was it important for us to get Alice's room right? Alice was sort of a selfless character in the show. You know, we, we saw some of her life, but it's really nice to think that we could pamper Alice a little bit. When the producers chose this house to become the Bradys back in 1969, it was only for its exterior. Now, after this massive renovation, the interiors are an exact match to the Brady Bunch set. When I first saw this, I thought it was impossible to pull this off. It's like traveling back in time, but traveling back in time and coming home. I think everybody really felt the genuine love. It is the definition of surreal. They created a home that we only have in our memory now because it was just a set. 50 years later, in honor of your 50th anniversary, what do you want viewers to get out of this? Uh, that they'll get an experience of what this, this home, this house represented, mm -hmm. which is just that, getting along, communicating, uh, trusting one another. Or in the words of Mike Brady, one for all, all for one. That home becoming a reality. Oh my. And an unbelievable seven months. When HGTV bought this house, it was a single story and ended right here. Meaning, no second floor and no iconic staircase. <laughs> Big problem. Our team adding over 2,000 square feet of space to the back of the house to account for each room on the TV set, including the second floor. I see the makings of the staircase. Every furnishing meticulously matched. Come on out of there. From old episodes. <gasps> Anybody got three coins for the fountain? And my grapes are here. How close did we get on the horse? We got, we, uh, yes. it's the horse. It's the horse. Yeah, Nailed it. We're always walking from the kitchen into the living room or to the front door, or back up to the, the den, or up the stairs, or and down the horse. stairs, and we're at the dining room table, and the horse is there. It's an anchor. It was strangely unsettling to be on the second floor in this house. Yeah. Because our bedrooms were actually right outside that door. It was yeah. on, on the on the on the ground floor of, this, of the, the set. Stage. Even outsourcing through fans to find rare items like this stuffed animal giraffe seen on almost every episode in the girls' bedroom. The house will bring back memories of classic Brady scenes like this. <laughs> You know what mom said. She always says, don't play ball in the house. And from the inside to the outside. 
Our camera is capturing the final reveal of the backyard. Everything here feels so right. It's just crazy. Walking in and feeling like everything is stage five at Paramount, because you know, it was a home. Oh. And 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 this is a real one now. I need to throw. <laughs> throw me the ball. Okay, I, and babe. don't break my nose. Hey you guys. Oh my nose! In honor. The oh. scene is complete. Spike the football. Yeah, we yeah, did we, it. We did it. <laughs> so now that the renovation is complete, what happens to the Brady house, you ask? HGTV says expect more fun in the year to come. You can watch a very Brady renovation on HGTV this coming September.